we begin with new hope that a coronavirus vaccine is closer than ever to making its way to Metro Detroit. Henry Ford Hospital says it could see its first doses being delivered in just two and a half weeks. And they've already got specialized freezers and equipment ready to go. And that news comes as the state reports a dramatic decrease in new coronavirus cases, 4,273 over the last 24 hours. That is 2,000 fewer than yesterday. The state also reporting, though, another 70, 73 new deaths from COVID-19. Now, even with these two uh, rather positive developments, make no mistake, COVID-19 is still very widespread in the community. The Henry Ford Health System currently has 425 patients admitted with COVID-19. Let's get out to Dr. Frank McGeorge. And Dr. McGeorge, there's hope for the future, but it's really bad right now. Yeah, Kim, it's definitely bad. And in fact, in a media call today, Dr. Adnan Munkara, he's the chief clinical officer of the Henry Ford Health System. He emphasized the growing severity of the situation. At present, one quarter of the patients hospitalized in the health care system are in an intensive care unit. And while the number of patients admitted at the main hospital in Detroit has been increasing, Macomb is the larger concern right now. Henry Ford McComb Hospital continues to be the place where we have the largest volume of case, uh, and large, largest volume, and where we have the highest number of patients. 136 patients are admitted with COVID at Henry Ford McComb Hospital. But it wasn't all bad news. Doses of Eli Lilly's monoclonal antibody treatment have arrived. With respect to the monoclonal antibody, what we have received so far across our hospitals are uh, around uh, 450 doses. I think we have about 455 exactly as of, as of this morning, what I've heard from our pharmacy. This is the first end location. We have set the clinical criteria for its use, as well as we have operation, operationally determined how to infuse, how to do these infusions as outpatient. This is a treatment in the outpatient setting, specifically for people who test positive and who have mild to moderate symptoms. And we'll start the first infusions next week. The vaccine update was another bright spot. As we are awaiting the first batch of vaccine that will be allocated to us. We are very excited to let you know that uh, we have had uh, all the freezers that are needed to store both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine when they become available to us. Now, Dr. Mankara also talked about Henry Ford's participation in the Johnson & Johnson vaccine trial. Now, that's different than the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. It's actually based on using a common cold type adenovirus to stimulate immunity to the coronavirus. They are currently enrolling for that trial, and they want to get as broad a community participation as possible. Yeah. Dr. McGeorge, what about the flu? Any update on it and, and where it stands right now? Well, you know, so far, there's still essentially no flu activity in southeast Michigan or the rest of the state. Nevertheless, he actually reiterated the advice that we need to maximize the number of people who are vaccinated against the flu mm -hmm. to prevent a situation where both COVID and influenza are active. Don't want to see that. Okay. Dr. McGeorge, thank you.